welcome to another match of Jund Tomrohawk. Today we are playing Is It Control, which is an interesting deck, I have to admit. Our opening hand is pretty good, I would say. Three lands are more or less the max you would want in an opening hand uh, in this deck and many of the decks that I've played recently. So I think that's pretty good. We don't really have a main turn one play, but that's okay. Turn two and three are going to be interesting. Mishra's Bubble is actually a good draw. Alright, we see that we're going to get a Swamp. I'm not sure I want it, so I'm just going to fetch immediately. Yeah, I don't need a fourth land right now. Well, we get a land anyway, so <laughs> whatever. Uh, we have to do our, have to try our best there to get rid of that Swamp. We get Dread Boar. Pretty good, depending on what we're playing. I think... Let's see, we can either play Croxa here or we can play Tarmogoyf. Croxa, alright. I see blue, so if I want to get out a counter, I'll put Croxa first because I don't really care if I... If Croxa gets removed, I care more if Tarmogoyf gets removed, if that makes any sense to you. Plus, if I am playing a red-blue red, red -blue deck, then it's going to be hard to kill Tarmogoyf. I know from experience, so. So we have a little Snapcaster on the battlefield. It's okay, we can get rid of it. Draw a second Dreadbore, which is pretty good, you know, considering the deck we're going to figure out we're playing against pretty soon. I didn't know at the time, of course. We now have a 4-5 Tarmo. Ready? Okay, we'll push. I'll probably go in for the attack first. See what our opponent has in store. Alright. Well, that's a thing. That's why you attack in first, just to see what's what's going on. Now we can play our Nighthawk Scavenger. And let's see what they play next. Alright, we got a scry. A braid. Main board a braid. Okay. So that's that's what's happening right now. I'm getting main boarded with a braid. Alright. We'll just let that go. And now I'm top decking to get a la to get a creature, which is painfully annoying. All right. Blubber Elf is pretty good, but with that much mana open, I know that I'm running into removal. Alright, so they are going to remand Ren. Blubber Elf will come in for three, if it survives. It does not. And it's going to get bolted. Or not. Okay, well, I thought it was. I'm just going to fatal push that Snapcaster. Another land. That's a bit too much. A lot of snapcasters. Another braid. Okay, so our opponent's playing multiple main board of braids. It's very frustrating.
Now I'll play Renin 6. Alright, I think that's the seventh Snapcaster we've seen this game. Just get rid of it. Alright, so Kalkin's command may give us an opportunity to get back a creature. Question is, is it going to resolve? Nope. Alrighty. Opponent's gonna refresh their hand. I think we're about to see their finisher creature here. Yep. Crackling Drake. Pretty formidable, I have to admit. We can kill a Dreadboar, but we just have to make sure our opponent does not have counters for it. Two Crackling Drakes, less... Less manageable, I should say. Oh my god, we just flooded on lands this game, it's just brutal. Yeah, concede. We're not going to win against that. Let's go to game two where we don't flood, ideally. This hand is pretty good, two lands. Have a good turn one play. Basically we have the entire curve there, assuming we draw lands. We'll see if that happens. See our visions. We did mill two remands, which is pretty hilarious. Kind of happy to see that. We got our third land. It's good news. Alrighty. Ping our point up for one, and that's it. Let's see what happens next. Another Serum Vision. Hey, our opponent is playing Pathway Lands. I have to admit, I didn't mention that in the first game. Good for them. And two mana decks, I think they're fine. I mean, they're they're passable. And two color decks, I should say. All right, Nighthawk Scavenger is gonna survive, but they're gonna kill. All right, they're just tired of getting milled. I understand. We gotta back up. Let's attack first. See if it's gonna eat a bolt. It does not. Great. Well, I'm gonna play another one. Assuming it resolves. It does. Snapcaster Bolt. Alright, well, figured that was going to happen. I'm pretty sure our opponent's playing more than one Snapcaster here. I mean, more than four. Got to braid it again, which is extremely frustrating. Got a Dreadboar here. Could really use a fourth land. Opponent's been pretty indecisive of their lands this game, or this match. Alright, Crackling Drake, well, as long as they don't have a Spell Pierce or something, that's going to die. 
Should have probably Inquisition first. Just note to you. Inquisition first, get rid of a potential counter, and then remove. Luckily that was that did not affect us here. Kinda wanna get rid of remand. Yeah. So our opponent is playing the Deceiver X Arch. Or X Arc. We still need a fourth land. Normally we've hit a fourth land by now, so. Flooded last game, and I, I knew that when if I was gonna flood, I was gonna short this game, and that's exactly what happened. Okay. I'm gonna wait here before I do anything with that. Call against command. Yeah, end of turn. Alright, they're going to counter it, or they're going to remand it, fine. It's crazy that we discarded three remands and they still had a fourth. Whatever. If this resolves, it's going to be helpful. We're going to be able to get a fetch here. Finally get our fourth land drop. There we go. Ren and Six will not survive to our next turn, but that's okay. No big deal. Now I make a mistake here. I should have tapped just for the hell of it, but they did through the draw step anyway, so it's not like I wasn't able to do, do anything with that mana. But either way, you just as a general rule of thumb, you should always do that. Just letting you know. What I could have done is I could have tapped it, main phase, Culligan's command. Uh, sorry, I could have tapped it in the draw phase, cast Culligan's command during the draw phase, and then played Thieves Guild Enforcer. That would have been a more efficient turn. So I didn't see that line kind of rushed it and played less efficiently for it. Luckily two Deceiver Exarchs are not really that intimidating. Our opponent has zero cards in hand so I get to cast this very comfortably. Next turn I'm probably going to put Huntmaster down onto the battlefield and then we're going to start a Huntmaster counter or Huntmaster timer I should say. Remember what I always tell you. Generally speaking, when Huntmaster hits the battlefield, average is two to three turns before the match is over in my favor. That's just how it is. I've proven it several times on this channel, and I'm pretty confident I'll be able to prove it again. We draw our third Blood Bloodbraid Elf, but I'm almost certainly going to cast Huntmaster to Fells here. Oh, I don't. All right. Well, put my foot in my mouth. Tar fire is excellent. Snapcaster Bolt. All right. This is so infuriating. Uh huh. It's okay. I'm going to make them pay with a braid. I swear. <laughs> the amount of frustration building up just re watching this is incredible. But it's fine. Huntmaster of the Fells is going to come and it's going to end this game in the next two to three turns. You're, you're going to see. It's the average. I say that confidently. And it's not the first time I've shown it. It's just how much I love this card. Oh, oh, what's that? You didn't have any spells to play? That's a shame. Well, now I'm going to deal two damage to you. I'm going to deal two damage to one of your dumb creatures. I'm going to... Kill that creature as well. I'm going to then cast a, th a second Huntmaster to Fells. Make my first Huntmaster flip next turn. And my opponent's going to concede. Oh, and yes, of course, I'm also attacking you. FYI, I should have attacked with my wolf there as well. There's no reason not to. Just, I didn't. 
Okay, well, I just cast two spells that turn, so Huntmaster is going to flip back again. I'm going to gain two more life, and I'm also going to get another wolf token. And now my opponent is going to concede. There you go. What was that average? That was two turns? Yep, told you. All right, game three. Do we need to make any changes here? That is the question. Not sure. Yeah, I feel like Ren and Six might be a little anemic against Is It Control. Yeah, alright. This hand is it's pretty good. I couldn't have asked, I mean, I could probably have asked for a slightly better hand for game three, but this is pretty much top three of what I would have preferred to see on a, on a game three play on the draw. Dreadboar is also a very good draw here. So I don't have a turn one play, but that's okay. Veil of Summer is going to be very key. Okay, draw our third land, which is fantastic. I'm gonna be very, very greedy. Oh, not that greedy, alright. So I went to there, I got a forest. I was being a good boy. Just gonna play a regular old Tarmogoyf. Let's see what happens. Remand, fine. You get one turn, stay, in execution. This turn, at least we'll have Veil of Summer as a backup. Perfect card to counter, or to prevent from resolving. And we draw Liliana, which is fantastic. Alright, there you go. Told you, Veil Summer was going to be very important here. And uh, it looks like I'm getting rid of our Archmage's Charm. Alright, that's smart. Oh no, I'm getting rid of Remand. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I think my thought process there is Remand is going to be more mana efficient, so it's going to be easier for them to cast it, keep mana up for it. So I'd rather force them keep more mana up, let's say for a more expensive counterspell like Archmage's Charm or Cryptic Command. Although realistically, I'm, I'm pretty sure I would have taken care of Crypt Cryptic Command if it was in the graveyard, just because it's so oppressive. Okay, we get our fourth land drop. Probably can do a Tarmogoyf and Kroxa play here. Not sure I'm in a rush to play Liliana. Yeah. Alright. Let's discard something else from your hand. Get rid of the Lightning Bolt. Alright, that probably means they have a dumb Snapcaster Mage in their hand, but alright. See if I have Exarch. It's gonna come down. I'm gonna tap my Tarmo. It's okay. Not really concerning. Opponent has two cards in hand. Let's see what they got. They are gonna play Crackling Drake. I have a beautiful Dreadbore ready for it. Yeah, alright. It's okay. It's not gonna last very long. Yeah, Dreadboar immediately. Alright, I think I'm going to go for a Liliana here. Yeah, definitely. Get rid of Exarch, and I might just get a concession just because of this. Yep, alright, so we took care of Is It Control. This was an interesting match, I have to admit. Our opponent put up a good fight. Turn uh, game three that that opening hand was actually i told you it was going to be very important i wasn't sure exactly how this game that game was going to play out um but 
yeah, that, that hand was really, really important. It was really powerful against the type of deck that we were playing. I was really happy to see it. And, uh, and again, I stand uncorrected. Huntmaster of the Fells just closes out games. I know you don't, people, many of you are still doubters, but I've loved that card since 2015. Uh, and, you know, I haven't looked back since. So try out Huntmaster of the Fells if you can. In your sideboard, it's kind of brave to put in your main board, but in your sideboard, I think it's pretty good against the right matchups. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed my content in general, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. You know, all that stuff really helps me out a lot. No matter which social network you want to be on, Facebook or Twitter, I'm there. So follow me. Uh, follow me on either one or both to stay up to date. Patreon, big thank you to my patron supporters. If you're interested in becoming a patron, supporting the channel, take a look at those tiers. I think they're pretty interesting and lucrative. You can get rares. Not, not you can. You will get rares in Mythics. At the end of the year, I will mail them out to everyone that is a patron, and lucky patrons will also get a bonus card that has a much larger value overall. These are all cards that open up on screen. They will not be bulk. So, yeah. Check that out. You help me. I help you back. It's, uh, it's a win-win for everyone. Thanks, and have a good one.